I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound, and today I'm really excited to show you the Cobalt 5S. It's a five voice extended virtual analog synthesizer, and it is as powerful as it is small. It's very, very well built. It's got steel and aluminum construction. Um, it just feels great. The keys do velocity and aftertouch. It can run off USB, which means it can run directly off your computer. It can run off a regular old foam power supply. Uh, it can even run off an Android, I've been told. And it'll also run off one of those phone charger batteries. Uh, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery lasts a couple hours. If so, if you have like a 20,000 one, it's going to go that much longer. Uh, plenty of time to work on things. And for something this small, it's amazing that you've got 16 knobs to work with uh, that are not only fully rotary uh, but they're also push buttons as well so a lot of features there uh, then you got an X Y and Z pad which means you can press down you can go left you can go right you can go up that can be used to modulate many many things simultaneously you've got eight modulation matrix and then you know your standard cobalt sounds which we've gone over in, in great detail in other videos but to say that this is just a two oscillator synthesizer really does not do justice to the power of this thing it has 40 algorithms and you could have up to eight oscillators per voice with five voices that's 40 oscillators going at once so there's a ton of thickness a ton of power you can lock the pad you can transpose the keyboard and you can use the shift button to access all the other features and then on the back you've got true left and right quarter inches plus headphones plus usb your power supply input plus sync in and out so you can sync to other devices and I'm really happy to say that the MIDI in and out is true five pinned in, which for something this small is really a blessing because when you're just using other small pieces of gear, usually you can't do the USB back and forth, but you don't have to use the MIDI dongle to 3.5 millimeter to get to your five pinned in. They're just right there. I really like that. And because there are so many parameters that you can get to, you don't have a knob for every single feature. And that's why it's really important to use the Cobalt 5S editor from the mobile app. And there you can just go on and change anything. And everything has its own visual representation as well as uh, values via the circles as well as the actual value in the middle. So you have lots of ways of seeing things. You can get to everything. You can do your preset management from here. You can also do all your modulation. You can see what's going on with the X and Y and Z. Uh, there are your effects. There are your sequencers. Uh, you got your keyboard, your transpose, arpeggiations, stuff like that. And then in your settings, that's where you got all your global stuff. And basically just very, very well laid out and it really makes everything much more easier to grasp. And then one of my favorite things, the LED brightness, you can lower that significantly, which really matters to me because I love looking down at these kind of things in the dark. And if those LEDs are too bright, you just can't read them. So uh, kudos for doing that. So there's lots to talk about about this synthesizer, but this is a prototype. Um, don't even have the owner's manual yet. So I'm just gonna get right into playing this thing. And if we get enough requests, we'll do a deep dive as well.
So I said I wasn't going to do a deep dive in this video, but I have to show this one feature that I just love. I used to have it back in the late 80s on my Roland MC500 Mark II sequencer, and that was where you could sequence parts, but then use a key to trigger how each part moves step by step, and it let you just play some really complex things with one finger, and it would let you put the emotion and the rhythm into your sequence uh, that was missing. And now this can do it, which I really, really like. Um, and so what I've done is I've just done a couple three finger parts, uh, and I think I just did seven chords and it's gonna step through them like this. And they're stepping through because my step mode is in clock, so it's going at the tempo of the clock. But now, I could change that to gate, and now when I hit play, nothing happens. But as I hit a key, not only can I play chords as complex as five notes uh, per key press, uh, but the rhythm is entirely up to my hands. Then, and this is where it gets really great, instead of gate mode, you do gate through mode, and the key that you're striking to trigger the sequences is also now playing the synthesizer. Clearly, you can see why I'm so excited about this thing. To be able to have this much power and this much synthesis and this much performance ability in something that I can play with in a lazy boy chair, leaning up against a tree, sitting at the campfire, um, or just drag it with me to another studio. It is a great device. If you have any further questions about the Cobalt line or any of the modal synthesizers, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.